Water is a valuable resource. It's essential to life in the modern economy. It's a fundamental element in the health and growth of communities. However, fresh water is in short supply in many parts of the U.S., especially the Southwest. Large reserves of salty brackish water exist in underground aquifers in most of these arid regions. Brackish water can be purified into drinking water using modern high-efficiency membrane technologies. However, the current purification process produces large amounts of salt-rich waste brine that's an environmental hazard if not carefully disposed. The high cost of disposing this waste brine is the primary factor in our inability to use these groundwater resources underneath many thirsty communities. EWM's technology solves the waste brine problem. EWM uses all of this waste brine as feedstock, which it purifies further to produce valuable high purity minerals and chemicals, along with desalinated and purified drinking water. EWM's technology solves the brine disposal problem and unlocks vast groundwater resources. Industry experts agree. EWM provides a market enabling technology that will change the way we manage water and increase its supply for communities that desperately need it. EWM is currently working with existing and future brackish water desalination plants to begin the commercial implementation of this technology. A local water utility sources brackish water and builds a reverse osmosis membrane plant to produce drinking water for the community. Typically, 80 to 85 percent of the brackish water is purified as drinking water. The remaining 15 to 20 percent which contains essentially all of the salts and, and minerals, is then pumped across the fence to EWM. The EWM plant extracts the salts and minerals as high purity chemicals that can be sold as hydrochloric acid, caustic soda, agricultural grade gypsum, and milk of magnesia. The remaining water is then pumped back across the fence to the local water utility as additional fresh water supply. EWM's technology consists of water treatment, minerals recovery, and chemical production processes all integrated together in an energy efficient, cost effective, overall minerals recovery process. The first step is softening the brine from the host brackish water plant with ion exchange. This removes calcium and magnesium from the brine and produces a high purity, highly concentrated calcium and magnesium solution used for chemicals production. The second step is heating and stripping the brine with air to remove alkalinity, which can cause scaling. The third step is using EWM's specially designed system of reverse osmosis and nanofiltration membranes to selectively remove and concentrate a sodium sulfate brine used for chemical production. The fourth step is using electrodialysis to extract and concentrate sodium chloride used to produce hydrochloric acid and caustic soda. At this point, the waste brine from the host water plant has been purified to drinking water standards and is sent back to the host municipality. With EWM's technology, the host reverse osmosis membrane plant increases its overall recovery from 80 to 85 percent to 99 percent. In addition, the waste brine is eliminated. Our technology also integrates a natural gas engine within the process. All of the heat and power generated by the engine is used in the minerals recovery process. This allows us to achieve a negative carbon footprint. We eliminate more global CO2 than we create. EWM won the right through a competitive process to pilot its technology at El Paso Water Utilities K. Belly Hutchison desalination plant, the largest inland desalination plant in the world. EWM plans to locate its first commercial plant adjacent to El Paso Water Utilities' desalination plant. EWM's plant would consist of two main buildings that would house the water treatment equipment. A natural gas engine, transformers, backup boiler, and small cooling tower will also be located on the site. Several other municipalities and water providers have expressed an interest in EWM's technology, and we're currently pursuing those other opportunities. This is the ion exchange softener, which consists of multiple beds, allowing steady flow of softened brine. The degasifier removes alkalinity from the brine. 
It uses air to strip carbon dioxide from the softened brine to prevent scaling. The reverse osmosis and nanofiltration membranes use pressurized feed water and small pore membranes to separate the pretreated brine. This produces a reduced salinity permeate and a concentrated sodium sulfate solution. The electrodialysis unit uses an electric field to remove the remaining sodium chloride from the brine. This produces a concentrated sodium chloride solution and desalinated water. One of the challenges we face in an inland situation with a desalination plant is the disposal of brine. And when we were approached with an idea to be able to take that brine from us and have someone produce beneficial products from our concentrate and then getting the water back from it was an exciting idea to us. And so we welcomed doing a pilot project. And uh, now it seems like that we're gonna be able to have a, a million, million and a half gallons per day of potable water that was formerly wasted. Now we can produce that water, deliver it to our customers as high quality product. We're very happy with it.